Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and Jason Schreier just posted an article on Bloomberg.com, which I will link in the description and in the comments down below because I suggest you go read the full thing because I'm not going to take money away from him. The man's got to eat. But basically, it is about the turmoil that 343 and Microsoft have endured with Halo and how it's pretty much going to be another reboot. I've uh, known about Jason for a long time, ever since Kotaku. He's done a lot of great stories. He definitely seems to have um, a lot of friends in the industry and people that trust him. So he's the guy that made the whole like behind Destiny and Bungie stories and stuff. So I, I do trust what he's saying. So he starts off saying that the studio is basically starting from scratch with all of the layoffs and whatnot and the leadership changes that have happened he then talks about some of the big changes that are going to be coming into the future and this is stuff that we have kind of heard about before but had never been reported on officially i guess and the first thing that he talks about is the new engine he talks about how the slip space engine is based on code that's just buggy and hard to use and how it's been a huge source of headaches for people who have developed halo he also talks about how there are game modes that are almost finished but have yet to be released because of the game engine. He talks about how over the past decade they debated switching to the Unreal Engine, but apparently late last year, after Bonnie Ross and the engine lead left, they decided to actually pivot to Unreal, and he says that this We'll start with the new game codenamed Tatanka. He says it started off as a battle royale, but it may evolve in different directions. So that is very, very interesting. He also says that 343 is not working on any story content right now. And instead of working on that before, they were actually prototyping, pitching new ideas for future Halo games instead of making new stuff for Infinite but most of those people were laid off in the last month. So while this is stuff that isn't technically groundbreaking because we had talked about it before, it is somewhat telling to see it come from somebody that's of high stature as Jason. Time will tell what will happen with Halo, but eventually we have to get some you know, real concrete news from the developer and studio, so. Who knows what's going to happen, but I will always keep you guys as up to date as I can. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!